Hi, everybody, and welcome to Teaching Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. In this installment of Teaching Tip Tuesday, I'd like to continue the exploration of apps that may be useful in your courses. This week, let's talk about Microsoft Visio. Microsoft Visio is vector diagramming software that's part of the Microsoft 365 suite of applications. It's great for generating visual representations of complex information. Among other things, Visio can be used for concept and argument mapping, flowcharts, process mapping, organizational hierarchies, timelines, and so much more. This program has a lot of potential for increasing student engagement with course content through active learning exercises and assignments. You can use it to produce instructional infographics for use in teaching, as well as images for integration into lectures, presentations, and posters. Part of what I find so appealing about Microsoft Visio is that its interface is much the same as seen in PowerPoint. If you can work PowerPoint, you can work Visio. There are lots of templates in Visio to get you started quickly on concept visualization. All of the diagrams are constructed with drag and drop shape and icon elements that allow really quick construction of meaningful images. Finally, because of the tremendous diversity of diagrammatic elements compared to PowerPoint, this app is superior to its PowerPoint cousin for diagramming processes and relationships. So let's take a look at Visio. In your Microsoft 365 account, there's a general list of programs, but to find Visio, you need to access either the All Apps button at the bottom of the list or the Waffle. Under the Waffle, you can find Visio. Upon opening the program, you're immediately confronted with template choices. The More Templates link will take you to the full assortment, and it is large. Under this listing of the full assortment, you get a good idea of what each of the templates might be used for. Choosing a template from this list should allow Visio to automatically open certain sets of elements for building your diagram. In your new Visio file, elements are accessed using the panel on the left of your canvas. Here we have some basic shapes and arrows for connection. Using the Add icon, you can load any number of element sets for access while creating your diagram. Once you find an element you'd like to incorporate in your diagram, simply click on it and drag it over to your canvas. As in PowerPoint, you can change the color of elements by adjusting the theme and the colors found there. You can enhance an element with text by clicking on it and typing into the box. It's easy to fine-tune the look of your diagram by adjusting the colors of different elements individually. And after you've added a few more elements, you can begin to show relationships and how those elements interact by using arrows. It's worth your time to play around with Visio on your own to see what things it can do for you. For most users, the online Microsoft 365 app is probably perfectly fine, but I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that there is a more complex desktop app that is also available from Microsoft. So, the benefits of the online program are that it's available to all UWSP students, staff, and faculty. Although it's a little bit more rigid with its parameters for element use, it does have cloud file storage and easy sharing. And like the desktop version, everything that you do can be saved as a PDF or an image file for use elsewhere. The desktop app, again, is a bit more complex. It allows you to integrate live external data into shape elements. It also allows greater control of shape dimensions. It has layers, and there are some additional diagrammatic elements that are associated with making floor plans. If you start using the online app and decide you want more, perhaps you should consider the desktop. Visio may be a useful tool for your courses, enhancing your ability to make visual representations and providing an alternative platform for certain student learning activities. And that's this week's teaching tip brought to you by the Center for Inclusive Teaching and Learning here at UWSP. Remember that at CITL we offer support for course design, learning activities, assessment, and pedagogy. Visit our website to schedule a consultation today.